Mount Meru is the forgotten mountain, overshadowed by its better known Mount Kilimanjaro. But this is a mountain that should not be overlooked. Meru is interesting geologically with its sheer sided crater wall and perfect ashen cone. Before the eruption, some have estimated that Mount Meru was approximately 25,000 feet in elevation. It is a spectacular climb whose challenge is also the ideal acclimatization for Mount Kilimanjaro. Buffalo may be seen just after Momella Gate on the wide open plain. Further on there is an impressive fig tree arch as well as beautiful streams and waterfalls. While we recommend the Mount Meru trek of three nights and four days, it can be done in two nights and three days, just as well, by continuing all the way down the mountain after the summit. Let us know what would work for you. On the first day, we hike from Momela Gate to Miria Kamba Hut at 2,514 meters. The trek follows the trails, often well-used game routes, through the forest towards the crater floor, and then climbs steeply up to Miria Kamba Hut. The trek continues up to Elephant Ridge, where we eat lunch. There are spectacular views down into the crater and up to the main cliffs just below the summit. On the third day, we hike from Saddle Hut to the Meru Summit at 4,566 meters, then back down to Miriakamba Hut at 2,514 meters. We leave Saddle Hut around midnight to reach the summit for the sunrise over Mount Kilimanjaro. This exhilarating trek follows the narrow ridge between the sloping outer wall of the crater and the sheer cliffs of the inner wall. How'd you find it? I found it strenuous, but I am glad to have made it without illness or accident. Then we descend to Miria Kamba Hut to sleep for the night. On the fourth and final day, we hike from Miria Kamba Hut down to the Mamela Gate where your transportation will be waiting for you. 